This morning, the floating city once again partially drowned. Postcard perfect Venice flooded for a fourth day. Not as violent as earlier in the week when gusts of wind met near record water, inflicting untold damage. The city's been declared a state of emergency. Now, between high tides, Venetians struggle to rebuild. Shop owner Valencia Colombo was out of town when this swept through her shop, destroying everything. We're helpless against this. What are you going to do? What can we do? We just, we're going to move everything out as soon as we can and uh, start all over again. The beating heart of this ancient city flooded only about half a dozen times in 1,200 years. Priceless mosaics submerged in muddy water, including the Basilica's crypt. Today, the water's mostly gone, but fears of damage remain. Are you worried about the long-term impact? The, the long term, uh, that uh, is not a single event, but uh, the number of events, uh, the salt inside of the bricks remains and uh, breaks the bricks. The city's mayor blames climate change. In recent years, these extreme high tides have become more frequent and unforgiving. But Italians also rail against greed and corruption. And that's because a billion dollar flood prevention system still not finished, suffering delays and allegations of graft since 2003.